I've often been asked my opinion on intermittent fasting, and to put it bluntly, I'm not a fan. The thought behind intermittent fasting is that after the body is depleted of carbohydrates, it starts to burn fat uh, around 12 to 24 hours after starvation, so therefore starving the body of food for 12 to 24 hours will potentially lead to weight loss, which can improve health. However, most of the studies done on this topic have been performed on animals over a short period and have measured glucose levels rather than long-term health conditions. As everyone probably knows, fasting diets aren't all the same. Some allow liquids like water, juice, or tea. Others cut calories drastically, uh, but don't completely ban food. And on some plans, you fast every other day. However, if you're fasting to lose weight, the weight loss may not, almost certainly, will not last after you finish fasting. And if your goal is to detox your body, you should know that your body naturally detoxes itself. If someone who is slim, fit, and healthy does an occasional fast to rid their bodies of fluid or toxins, I can't, I can't speak to that. But obviously, those folks already have a healthy eating and fitness lifestyle ingrained into their psyche. So for them, Getting back on track after a fast is easy. But I, however, deal with people who are overweight and obese and, more often than not, have battled with their weight for years. There are real-life drawbacks from switching between feasting and fasting. On a fast, your body adjusts by curbing your appetite so you'll feel less hungry at first. You'll have a decreased appetite at first because your body's metabolism is slowed. Yet, when you eat with a slower metabolism, you can gain weight faster, even with less food. And once you have stopped fasting, your appetite revs right back up, you may feel hungrier and be more likely to overeat. It's human nature for people to want to reward themselves after doing very you know, hard work, such as exercise or fasting. So there's a danger of eating unhealthy on non-fasting days. Also, there's a strong biological push to overeat following fasting periods because your appetite hormones and hunger center in your brain go into overdrive when you are deprived of food. Fasting may also lead to an increase in the stress hormone cortisol, which of course may lead to even more food cravings. Intermittent fasting is not a lifestyle. And that's today's Fat Chat. See you next time.